Peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. In our ministry, in our ministry today, we want to uh, bring awareness to breast cancer. Um, we all know someone, live with someone, and love someone who's been affected by cancer. Um, so we just want to have a little reading today by um, Crystal uh, about what this day, how it came about and everything. Peace of the Lord be with you. And also, also with, with you. you. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This month is about more than pink ribbons. While some feel inspired, many people living with breast cancer feel like the month overlooks their experience with the disease. Breast Cancer Awareness Month can mean different things to different people. For some, it's a trigger. 31 days in the fall of pink ribbon reminders of a disease that forever changed them. For others, it's a chance to show their support for the more than two million women around the world who are diagnosed with the disease each year. Understanding the goals behind the global campaign and the emotions felt by the many different people living with the disease may help you decide if and how you want to commemorate the month. Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day, October 13th, is nationally recognized in the U.S. as Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. About 168,000 women in the U.S. are estimated to have metastatic breast cancer. It's cancer that spreads beyond the breast to other parts of the body. Researchers estimated about 30% of early stage breast cancer eventually metastasize. The day which began in 2009 is meant to educate the public about the need for more money to go to the study of metastatic breast cancer and the development of new metastatic cancer treatments. Men's, can Men's Breast Cancer Awareness Week, October 17th through the 23rd. Although breast cancer is much more common in women, breast cancer affects men too. In 2021, President Joe Biden designated October 17th to, through October 23rd, Men's Breast Cancer Awareness Week. According to the American Cancer Society, 2,790 men in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer in 2024, and about 530 are expected to die from the disease. But lack of awareness and stigma can be barriers to detection and care in men, trans men, and non-binary people. This information is provided by breastcancer.org, and we can donate to support free resources and programs for people affected by breast cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Um, like I said, we all know someone. Um, I just want to send my prayers and my love to the ladies that are in my life that have been affected. And they fight every day. My mom, my wife. And um, all I can say is it, it's, it's the family bond that helps us all get through it. Amen. Yes. Okay? Definitely. So don't be afraid. <laughs> Just love, support, and do whatever they ask you to do. <laughs> and, you know, it's so much research now. And... Um, you wouldn't know unless they told you. And we don't know how they feel all the time because it, it affects them. And through the grace of God and, and talking about it, being involved with them is the best we could do, is, is work, go through the journey together. So that's what I encourage you all to do is go through it together and the unity and the love and the grace of God will persevere and we'll be okay. Um, our next reading is our black clergy, I mean, <laughs> clergy appreciation day. <laughs> I, got, I got too many things on my mind. <laughs> Good morning. Um, in the... Um, before we start that, can I just have, I know that 
A lot of us in here have been affected by breast cancer and we are warriors, we are fighting, and not only breast cancer, but cancer period. Can we just have you stand for a minute so we can give ourselves a clap and because we are strong warriors and let them clap for us, please. Thank you. So with that, um, peace of the Lord be with you. And also with, with you. you. Clergy Appreciation Liturgy. Good, she good shepherd of the sheep, you have appointed some to be pastors, teachers, deacons, and under shepherds of our souls. For this, we give thanks. We rejoice that they follow in the tradition of the apostles and prophets of all. Apostles are commissioned as delegates of the Lord Jesus Christ to bring the word of God to the unbelieving. They proclaim the good news and the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. After Jesus prayed, he then selected the initial 12 apostles to further his teaching. They were trained by his example to carry on his ministry after his departure. They were trained, oh, excuse me, Jesus commissioned 70 more apostles representing all the nations of the world. After his departure, the apostles testified to his resurrection. Barnabas and Andronicus, Junia, Paul were added to this group. The prophets are messengers to the believing church, discerned as instruments of fresh revelations. They, they included, included Anna, Anna and Simeon, and, and the prophets of Antioch and, and Jerusalem, and, and finally Philip's daughters. Prophets, are, prophets give inspired instruction in moral and religious truth. Some are endowed with liter, literally, literary powers and commit their visions and revelations to writing. Prophets edify, comfort, and counsel God's people. Among the pastors and deacons we honor today are Reverend Anthony K. Foster, Pastor and Deacon Reggie Fields. Thanks and be thanks to, God. to God. We also honor and give thanks for unnamed servants of the Lord, women and men of the past, as well as those who serve us today. Thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our clergy announce God's will with all authority, honoring the apostle and the high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. They take heed to build carefully upon his foundation, studying and rightly dividing the word of truth. Thanks, Thanks be to God for the diligent efforts of our clergy. Amen. I want to thank Deacon Reggie for all he does, seen and unseen. Uh, thank you, brethren. Okay. Um, what the, and back in the day, Reggie's a good man, <laughs> and um, I appreciate you. As much as I appreciate you. And thank you for just being a phone call away, for your inspiration, for your tutelage, and for the training you've imparted into me. So thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you.